Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dr. Berg. In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting hormone called growth hormone. Okay. Now, maybe you've heard about growth hormone in, um, in different animals where they inject the uh, cow and make them get bigger. We're not talking about that growth hormone or sports enhancement where they're using this illegally to improve the performance. We're not talking about that. We're talking about your body's ability to make growth hormone. Now, in a child, uh, growth hormone is is there to make you grow. But once you're an adult, it's used to uh, in other purposes, mainly to help preserve proteins. Okay. Now the question is, what part of your body is protein? Well, you got hair, nails, skin, collagen, tendon, ligaments, uh, even bone. You have a lot of your body protein. So um, growth hormone is the ultimate aging, anti-aging hormone because it preserves the skin, the tendons, and it just keeps things flexible. And, uh, and if you're losing protein, if you're becoming more rigid in the arteries, you get high blood pressure and you, your body falls apart. So it's for cell growth, cell reproduction, cell regeneration after injury, after stress. Uh, it also helps you retain calcium. It's, it's influenced with cognitive function. People that are low in growth hormone have memory loss. But I think the other thing is that it's really um, uh, special in affecting fat burning. Okay, so if you growth hormone is the main hormone that helps you burn fat. So if you don't have enough growth hormone, uh, you become fat. Okay, so now the question is, how can we get more of it? Uh, unfortunately, at age 50, I mean, it starts crashing. Uh, probably about 45 to 50, you start getting lower levels of growth hormone to the point where you're 60 and 70 becomes very, very low. As a child, it's very high. So we want to maintain as much of this growth hormone as, as possible. And there are things that you can do to naturally improve it. Uh, so number one, intermittent fasting. Okay, Fasting and intermittent fasting will increase growth hormone, which also means that you, know, you, have, you have this concern about losing muscle mass. Well, if you, if you do intermittent fasting, you're going to enhance growth hormone and protect your muscles from being lost. Okay. Number two, hypoglycemia. Basically keeping your blood sugars low because over here, the things that lower growth hormone is sugar. So every time you spike sugar or insulin, you decrease growth hormone. So if we want to keep the growth hormone high, we want to keep the sugar very, very low and out of the diet. Okay. Arginine is an amino acid that will also increase growth hormone. Arginine is, the, is really uh, prevalent in all types of animal products, animal meat products, okay? animal proteins. It's not really uh, in salad or nuts. Um, okay, vitamin B3 will increase growth hormone, which is very interesting. Uh, that's niacin. And lastly, intense exercise. That's the high intensity interval training um, would be very vital to enhance growth hormone. So if we combine all these, I mean, you have ketosis, intermittent fasting, uh, interval training, with really uh, keep the sugar out, man, you're going to actually have some seriously high growth hormone, which you're going to actually just slow down the aging process. Now, things that decrease growth hormone would be insomnia, not sleeping, sleep deprivation, okay, consuming sugar and hidden sugar, stress and cortisol. Cortisol will worsen growth hormone. And then endocrine disruptors, that would be the pesticides and herbicides, insecticides. All those interfere with hormones, okay? And also, especially the growth hormone. So I just wanted to touch base on this very vital hormone. So go ahead and apply this information and put your comments below.